Well, hello, and welcome to Fragrance Therapy. I'm so happy that you're joining me, and if you are a Fragrance Therapy family member, I am so happy to have you back. It's always a pleasure to have you here and to have your support and your love. And if you are new to the channel and you wanna be a part of the Fragrance Therapy fam, all you have to do is hit subscribe and then make sure that your notifications are turned on. If you look for the little bell and select all notifications, then you'll know the next time I upload a video. And you don't have to worry about me with this channel having new content every day. I am probably going to be doing a video once or twice a week at the most. And I want to just take some time to thank all of the amazing supporters out there, those of you who are fragrance family members especially, who like the videos that I put out. I know you don't have to do it, but it is very much appreciated. In a previous video that I did where I talked about some new type of videos that I was going to be doing here on this channel for 2023, one of those video ideas that I wanted to try was where I was going to be doing a Home Fragrance Addicts Anonymous type of video. And the purpose of this is for those of you, including myself, who want to keep ourselves accountable to each other and just to let you know that you're not alone in wanting to get this feeling of addiction. And for some people, it really is an addiction. And I'll get into that in just a second. But to kind of just feel more in control about their spending habits and their buying habits when it comes to home fragrances. That includes body care, candles, wax melts, room sprays, whatever it might be having to do with fragrances. And I just wanna say that I know everyone doesn't feel like this. There are some people who are content with how much they're spending or buying or completely happy and fine with that. And so if that's the case, this type of video is not meant to discourage you or to wag my finger at you or anything do what you want to do but for those of us who want to do something different maybe want to spend less have less this is more so of kind of like a support group this type of video this type of meeting that we have will be done once every month at the end of the month so the next time we will check in with each other will be at the end of March. So let's talk about addiction. You know, I briefly said something about that and I said I would touch on that in a second. Well, now is that second. I think it is easy to dismiss the fact that we could have an addiction to something like candles or wax melts or body care or room sprays or plug-in refills, whatever item or items that are out there when it comes to home fragrances, right? Because a lot of the times addiction is linked to things like alcohol or some sort of drugs or gambling, but not to something like clothing or makeup or fragrances, you know, items. Because of course, I understand that being addicted to something like alcohol or drugs is way more serious than if you're addicted to buying a certain items. And here is the actual definition for an addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance thing or activity and some words associated with addiction are craving compulsion and habit so like the definition said it's not just about being addicted to a particular substance it could be a thing as well so be aware that it is possible that you could have an addiction to shopping to buying this or to buying that. And there's like a compulsion to buy whenever there's a sale going on, whenever there's some event happening, even though 
you already know that you have plenty of what you're going to be buying. <laughs> you already know that you have plenty of wax melts. I was overcome with this compulsion to participate in a sale or some sort of event when it came to home fragrances. And then that word habit, connect with that word habit because I used to find myself waking up in the morning and going to bathandbodyworks.com and seeing what they had going on, what kind of sale they had going on, if they had a sale going on, or I would go to Goose Creek Candle, or I would go to kringlecandle.com. Those would be the main three websites I would visit to see who had what going on. <laughs> and it became part of my routine. It became part of my day. It was a habit. And in order to get on the road or get on the track to breaking an addiction, you have to change your habits. The things that you're doing, you have to trade out those habits for healthier habits. You know, I had to think to myself, why do I need to see what's going on? Why? I have plenty as it is. Why do I feel like I need to be a part of this? Do I feel like I'm gonna miss out on on a candle because I see everybody else getting that scent or those scents and I want it too. I don't wanna feel left out or I don't wanna feel like I'm missing out on, on something because it may, it may not ever come back. That scent may never come back again. You know, I had to ask myself, why is that so important to me? And I think that's something some people need to ask themselves too, is why, do, why does it matter? Why does it really, why is this so important to me? And I can't answer that for anyone. That's only something that you can answer for yourself. It's going to take being very honest with yourself, okay? <laughs> and that's the hard thing. That's what can be difficult for people. It's doable, but it takes being honest and truthful with yourself as to why. I have this feeling and I for me I didn't want to have that feeling I just didn't want to be to feel ruled over or controlled or that just because some some company some brand was having a sale that I needed to be a part of it or that I needed to buy or I needed to go to the store and check it out like I just I want to get to a place and I thankfully I am on that path to being in that place of more so, you know what? I know semi-annual sale is going on, but I don't care, you know? <laughs> I had to tell myself, okay, they're gonna have great sales again. <laughs> this is not the last time. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the brand or the company says. This is not the last time that they will ever have a sale like this. There will be other amazing scents and fragrances that come along. And I had to let go of feeling like I had to have and I needed this scent or those scents. I need to be at a place where I can accept that, you know what? You're gonna miss out on some really great fragrances sometimes because you didn't buy, because you didn't participate in that sale. And you know what? That's okay. Life goes on. And that's the thing too, is that there should be more important things going on in my life than a fragrance <laughs> or, or certain scents or fragrances. And I, I laugh, but I'm being very for real too. I'm preaching to myself and to those of you who get what I'm saying. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> I hope that reached somebody. I hope that that was received by someone and that that helps you. I am speaking from a place of experience. I've asked myself these questions. I've had to do soul searching and hold the mirror up to myself. So now I'm going to talk to you all about something that I just did today. Speaking of being accountable, it's one thing to be accountable to each other and to have uh, you know each other to lean on but what can you do 
to keep yourself accountable where you live in your own home? Well, just today, I thought of something that I could do to keep myself accountable. And so here's the thing that I realized is it is easy to not realize how much you already have when it's out of sight. Like that saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. I believe there is something to all of these items, all these things that we have. Not being right in front of us and not having to look at how much we have all the time or on a regular basis. It's easy to put it in the back of our heads that we already have a lot of product when it's concealed somewhere. So the idea that I had that I am implementing is I'm just gonna put all of my candles out on display. It is in an area of my house that I do have to pass by. It is something that if company came over, they would see it. I think that's the thing too, is a lot of people have hidden their candles. They don't want their husband to know. They don't want their wife to know. They don't want a company to know that they have all these candles. And I guess, you know, again, that kind of goes back to the addiction. We make sense of it and what we're doing to ourselves and for ourselves. There's some of us who still know and realize this is getting a little unhealthy. And so I'm not going to hide it. I am not going to hide it. I need to keep myself accountable and that is how I am going to keep myself accountable to myself here at home. Here are the candles. Here are all of my candles that I have out on display. There's the two that I have from Scentworks. Then here's my Kringle candle section or part of the shelf. I have, you know, Snowbird, Wisteria, Essentials, Fruit and Flakes, Marshmallow Morning, Crisp Apple and Sage, November, Over the Rainbow, Herbal Tea, and Cozy Cabin. Moving down to the Bath and Body Works shelf. I'll just kind of scroll through or uh, roll my camera past what I have. Oh, there's a couple of Goose Creek candles in the mix as well. They're very similar type jars as the Bath and Body Works fragrances. And so just below that are my smaller candles. And I have a Goose Creek candle. I love this scent. Sweet Pine and Snowflake, Iced Banana Pop from Yankee Candle. I did not purchase this candle. This was a birthday, a free birthday gift from Yankee Candle because my birthday month is in February. And then that is an Easter candle from Target that I got last year. There's waffles and ice cream. There's Twisted Peppermint. Then here is Dazzling Popcorn from Goose Creek, one of my absolute favorite fragrances, especially for fall. But yeah, I'm going to leave all of this out on display for myself because I'm not gonna hide it. Uh, I need that sort of uh, realization. The only other candle that I have that's not over there is this one that I'm using right now. That's a Goose Creek candle. I think it's called Cake Batter, but uh, yeah, that's the one I'm using today that is not on the wall. All right, so now you have seen what I'm going to be doing to keep myself accountable. But now this portion of the video, I am going to be telling you all what I did these last few months. I think that's only fair to share with you all, not just what I did this month when it comes to buying, but to the last few months. I'll go back to the last bigger purchase that I made, which was at the end of December. And I decided to replenish my wax melts because I was getting low. So that's a purchase that I actually feel okay with that. I'm good with that purchase because it's not as though I had tons of wax melts at home. And I did do a video about that purchase that I made and you can see the wax melts that I purchased. Another thing when it comes to the wax melts that I learned was thinking, okay, since wax melts don't take up as much space, I can buy more. No, do not fall for that. Do not find yourself 
going from buying too many candles to buying too many wax melts. If you don't truly change your habits, you can go from candles to wax melts to plug-in refills to room sprays and you'll still end up buying an excess of that item or that type of item. Sometimes rules and limits, it's good to put limits on ourselves. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I try to just do one pack and if I wanna buy another of that scent in the wax melts, then I'll just do that. And then when it comes to candles, I did purchase one with that order of wax melts. And with that, could I have gone without buying that scent? Yes, I could have, but I'm okay with it. I'm not being too hard on myself because I did only buy one candle. I had not purchased a candle. I wanna say maybe May of 2022. And then the only other candle that I have was the one that I showed you all from Yankee Candle, which was a birthday, free birthday gift. But those are the only candles, I like new candles that I have. So from candles and wax melts, let's move on to other type of fragrances. I have not purchased any room sprays in a while. I have purchased some plug-in refills and I feel okay about that. I purchased those refills from Yankee Candle in the month of February. I really was running low. I literally had a little bit left of one plug-in refill. And so that was another purchase where I was replenishing my refills. And I think I got five or six of those all different scents. I did get a package from Goose Creek. I ordered it. <laughs> they didn't just send it to me or anything, but it is my new favorite item from Goose Creek. And it is not a candle. It's not wax melts. Okay. This is something that I could, I could see myself continuing to buy from them. And I think I'm going to do that video for you all this week. The same week that this video is going to come out, I'm going to do that video. I'm really excited to share what that item is because I think it gets overlooked quite a bit. It's something that I'll be able to use this month into possibly the end of summer. And I didn't buy an excess of it. I don't feel like I purchased an excess of it. So yeah, that's I hope that you enjoyed this video for those of you who have stuck around this long. Thank you so much for supporting this first ever type of video, this Home Fragrance Addicts Anonymous type of video or series. I hope to see you again in the comments or to be seen by you in the month of March. Again, that'll be at the end of March. Till then, I'm really excited about this. I think this is gonna be very helpful for a lot of people. And again, that was one of the things I wanna do with this channel. I wanna do something, uh, do some things besides reviews. Reviews are great. I just did one about coffee, <laughs> coffee shop. And uh, you know, those are fun, those are nice, but I wanna do some other things that will be really helpful for people. That really means a lot to me when I, get those those comments and those those types of videos so with that being said meeting adjourned if i can leave you with anything to think about or to consider going forward it's to really maybe ponder the type of habits the compulsion the craving or the dependency that you notice when it comes to this in this area of your life and really take some time to reflect. And at the end of the day, change is only going to take root and actually stick if it's something you really want to do. And so I encourage you to do that between now and the next meeting we have at the end of March. So with that being said, it's always a pleasure having you. And until next time, I hope that you have a great day or a good night. Bye.